In this video, I'll show you how you easily can color grade SLOG 3 footage from scratch in Final Cut Pro. My name is Christian. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go. First thing I did here was to go into the information here. And down here, you can see camera LUT. This one right here works really well. You don't need to, you know, download any other LUT. This is built in in Final Cut Pro. And also, I left a link with this video in the description so you can download this clip and grade along with me or grade this however you want to grade it. This is the before and this is the after. So as you can see here, I've named all the effects that I use to grade this, um, step one, step two, and step three, to make it easier for you to understand, but it's pretty easy. Step number one is color correcting the image. Step two is to grade it, and step three is just grading it a little bit more. So the two last steps are grading the clip, and the first step is yeah, correcting the image. And what color correction basically means is that you are trying to get your image to look as natural and true to life as possible. And in this case, I am pretty happy with what the conversion LUT did, but in real life, it was a little bit more contrasty as I remember it. And um, yeah, so I basically dragged down the shadows a little bit and dragged up the highlights. That's basically all that I did. So the image will look a little bit more punchy. So now that we have corrected the image and we have a really nice base to grade this, now we can creatively go in there and add different steps to make this look how we want it to look. And next step is going in and adding a new color wheel. And as you can see here, I dragged down the shadows a little bit more to create a more moody look. I dragged down the midtones to further create that moody look. And I dragged blues in the midtones. That's basically all that I did here. And boom, that's how that looks. So now you can see that we are getting into our more creative look. We added step three, which is curves. The Luma curve, the red, green, and blue. And if you didn't know, by the way, you can actually drag these and change which hue you want to affect in the curves. But in this case, I didn't do that. All I did here basically was to drag down removing blues in the midtones and highlights um, and a little bit in the shadows as well. It introduces some greenish tint instead of that blue. And that's something I really enjoyed here in the reds. I introduced a little bit of reds in the shadows. So I made a control point here and dragged this up a little bit. So yeah. So that's basically it. I didn't touch the Luma. I only touched the reds and the blues. And as you can see, this is how it looks without this last step. And this is with. And you can always make this look a little bit more subtle by dragging down the mix in the middle here, for example. This looks really nice as well, but I liked it when it looked really moody. And yeah, that's basically what I did. And um, let me just take these off and show you. This is only with the conversion LUT that is built in Final Cut. And this is with my corrections. And uh, this is with the first color wheel. And this is with the last color wheel. So boom, there you go. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, you know what to do. What do you think about this fit though? I really enjoy this new Ronaldo shirt. It's Ronaldo in the back. Not sure if you can see it, but um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful day. Peace.